What are we doing today, you guys? We are going thrifting. I'm sitting outside Savers. We're going to three thrift stores today. It's been so long since I've done a thrifting video on my channel, so I can't wait to see what we find. One of the things that you guys asked me to do is to find things that you can easily find at any thrift store and show you how I would style it, use it in my home decor. So I'm gonna be doing that today. But one thing I wanted to show you, this is what I do. Anytime I go and do like a big thrifting day, I love to save like inspiration on my phone. So if I see a picture on a high-end site that I really like, I'm gonna save it in my phone. And I also, you could do something as simple as like creating a list in your notes app. I've done that as well. Today I have about 16 pictures of just different things I'm looking for. Furniture that I like, maybe vases. So when I'm in the thrift store, I'm gonna be looking for items that have similar shapes, maybe furniture that I could upcycle, DIY, to get that similar look. I also need to get some frames today. So for me, the thrift store can be really overwhelming. I think that it really helps if you have a focus and a list before you go in. Okay, so let's go check out Savers and see what we can find. $7.99. I feel like I wish it didn't have the handles. If it didn't have the handles, I think I'd like it better. The shape on this vase is really cool, you guys. If you don't like the color, which it could use a spray painting. I absolutely love the shape of this vase and wanted to put it out with some Christmas stems that I had on hand. So I'm just gonna spray paint it with two coats of a flat black spray paint. I grabbed these red berry stems at Target. I think they're great. They give a nice subtle Christmas touch, but you could honestly use them throughout the winter. I feel like I always gravitate to the wood section because the wood items are usually great quality and you can do so much with them. They want $60 for it though. I found one several years ago that I put out on my front porch for Christmas. All right, you guys, I found this tray. It's $3.99. I don't know, it's a little awkward, but I also love the wood on it. I feel like this would make a good DIY. We'll see. You guys, I had no idea what I was gonna do with this tray, but I started to deconstruct it and pull off all the parts. Once I had them pulled off, then I just kind of started messing with them, kind of putting different formations together, seeing what I liked. In the end, I just loved the wood of this and I really wanted to make like a tray for decor. I didn't really like the beads too much on it, so I took all of those off. And then that left some like white areas underneath the beads. So I went through and used just my hand sander to get it down to that natural wood color. And then I used a construction adhesive style glue to attach the base to the top portion. I used this tray to style some Christmas decor. I know it's been a while since I've done a thrifting video, so if you like seeing thrifting videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know to do more in the future. Why you wanna let me go now? So I feel like wood pieces like this are awesome because you can paint them, stain them, do so much. This piece is only $4.99. I feel like a lot of people would just walk right past this, but I see great organization potential, so I'm gonna grab it. I love looking for like vintage old style fabrics that I can either use to recover items. I also love it for wall art pieces as well. What <laughs> in the world is that? <laughs> is it a Christmas I mean, bathroom mat? It's a little, what? Little stains. Not we're gonna we're gonna leave just leave that there. Leave it there. <laughs> it's tree? tree trunk curtains. This would be, that would be pretty. This is just a sheet, but this would be pretty for recovering or creating a pillow. All right, Liz, what are you picking up? What are you getting? What's in the cart? Okay, so we're leaving Savers, you guys. I'm gonna get this vase. I think it's really pretty. Totally could update this, but the shape of it is what is important. Always pay attention to the shape. 
You guys, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I cannot leave it here. I feel like it needs to be DIY. Let me know in the comments what you would do with it. All right, and then I'm also really excited about this cabinet. I feel like this is gonna be a great DIY and provide a lot of storage. I'm thinking my bathroom, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So these are the three things we're getting. Okay, I know I said we were leaving, but I just looked over there and there's some cool, it looks like landscape artwork over there. I think we should go check it out. Okay, we always look at the artwork, you guys, is sometimes it's hit or miss. Most of the time I don't find anything, but we're gonna go check it out. Everybody's doing those eight by 10, 11 by 14 landscapes. So I'm gonna try to find one at the thrift store that's similar. I always check out the baskets, you guys, because you never know what you're gonna find. And they make great storage, organization, plus they just give a nice, like, pattern and texture in your clothes. All right, so we're getting ready to go into the second store, which is Hillcrest, one of our favorites, so we'll see what they have in there. So at this store, I always like to go to the furniture first because they have a lot of good furniture. This is kind of a cool side table, you guys. Definitely think we could update this. This coffee table too also has the caning at the bottom. I think if we remove the glass and did something more updated, this could be a cool coffee table. I could see it in black. We were looking for stools. I also feel like a cool side table. All right, you guys, these wood side tables, they're $43, but they have like a brand on the inside and they have cabinet doors. There's two of them. These would be awesome DIY candidate tables. Guys, I love this old hutch. They have it priced at $98. I honestly wouldn't do anything to it. I love the color on it. So adorable. I absolutely love this set of prints. These would be so pretty sitting out on a shelf. $2 for each. We're grabbing these. I'll show you guys how I style these. Whenever I'm adding decor into my kitchen, it's great to anchor all that decor with a tray. This is one that I had on hand. I'm gonna place those two prints on the tray, and then I'm also gonna add some greenery. That just really finishes off any look and a few decor pieces I already had on hand. So you guys, I always pick up like my five by seven, eight by 10 frames at the thrift store. You can buy them for 50 cents, a dollar, such a better deal than going and spending like 10, $15 at any store. I think this could be cool if I restained it a little bit. I really don't even think I would sand it down, just stain it as it is. How much is it? Only a dollar. Only a dollar. Amazing. You really don't have to spend a lot of money to get a nice frame. I'm gonna be using the color Special Walnut on this frame. Once I remove all the contents, I'm just gonna do one layer of stain on here. I'm gonna wipe off any excess with a paper towel. This took me a couple of minutes to do and this frame now looks brand new. I have a print of my family that I'm gonna be putting in here and I cannot believe how inexpensive this was. This would also make a great gift. All right, you guys, I feel like these are what I was talking about when I was talking about landscaping frames or landscaping prints that are really in right now. Now, I feel like the frame may be a little too dark. Maybe we could sand it down and make it lighter, but these are a great grouping and they're only $4 each. If you guys are in your thrift stores, you definitely want to look for landscape prints like this. With these two, I wanted to add some rub and buff color to it. So I put out three different options. I'm gonna flip the frames onto the back just so I can figure out which color I wanna use, what will work best. I decided to go with this European gold color once I kind of put them all out. All I'm going to do is take my foam brush and then I'm going to paint it onto this frame. I didn't take the mats out or anything like that. I'm just gonna lightly put it on there. I'm okay if some of the wood is still showing through, but I love these rub and buff colors. I'll link them for you guys down in the description box. I feel like I've been using them all the time. I'll definitely be using them next year as well. Painting the frames is an easy way to update any art piece. All 
All right, so someone just came up and recognized us. Liz said it only happens when I'm with her. Yeah, because Delaney's like following me around with the camera. camera. I wish much... they could see me because they know. look crazy. Let's record me <laughs> on a phone yeah. so they can see. You look like a spectacle with Delaney following me around with the camera. So one thing I always look for are the larger books. These make great coffee table books. I always look for the hardcover one. This card is like their specially priced ones, which means they're cheaper. So I'm just kind of looking for like a good hardback with colors I like, a good subject matter. So like this one, you guys, it's got the subject matter of Christmas. It's only a dollar. I always take off the dust jacket. And wouldn't this be cute sitting out under some Christmas decor for just a dollar? We're gonna grab it. The best thing about this thrift store is that they have an arts and crafts section. So they have all this fabric, like all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure we're gonna find things in here we need that are at a great price. It was made for me. One dollar, so cute. How much is that? Only One dollar. It was meant for you, you have to get it. Yeah, we could put it on the background in the office. That'd yeah, that'd be perfect. I love all of these, you guys. These can be really pricey and to get them for a dollar or two, great price. Another cool thing that we found are all these different tapered candles. Most of them are priced at 50 cents. And then I also saw these jars. There's five of them. They're a dollar each. I absolutely love things like this. They make great like centerpieces when you can get several in a set. So I'm gonna get all five of them for five bucks. All right, this box is amazing. This one is so cool too. You guys, they're both only $3. I know they're different wood, but I can paint these and they're gonna make such a cool set like sitting out on my coffee table. I'm already so excited. Let me show you guys what we got in our cart today. The thing I'm most excited about are these boxes. I got this wooden box and then I also got this larger one. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm gonna do a DIY with them and put them on my coffee table. We found a ton of wall art prints, so we're gonna pick up these. These are each $4. We found this cute embroidery for a dollar. It has an L on it. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on my backdrop whenever I'm in my office area. This book I'm gonna put out just kind of as like a Christmas decor to put some decor on it. And then this frame I'm getting, I need an eight by 10 frame. So I'm gonna grab this one. Ooh, we also found, I forgot about these prints. These were $2 each. I absolutely love these. I'm not gonna do anything to them except for style them. And then I got five of these jars. I'm a sucker for these. I cannot pass things like this up. Okay, Liz, we actually didn't show this on camera, but when we got here, there was a line of people waiting to come in, yes. waiting for the store to open. So do you have any advice on when the best day to go thrifting is? Because obviously today is one of those days that everyone's going. I feel like some stores have deals on specific days. That's always great. I also think going like right before the weekend, like today's Thursday, we're here. They're usually getting out a lot of items so that they're ready for the weekend. So I think Thursday is a great day to go. I typically try to avoid the weekends if I can, but honestly, most thrift stores that are any good are putting out new stuff all the time. So you can pretty much go most days and find good stuff. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right. Okay, on to thrift store number three. Push all the limits with you right now. All right, store number three. It's so packed right now, so hopefully we're able to get some good footage. This store has a ton of furniture and lamps, so we're gonna look at that first. This store is a little bit pricier, but they always have a ton of stuff. I've seen a lot of lamps that are in this shape. It's $9. So you could definitely repaint that, maybe spray it black or like a tan or cream color would be cute. So these are some big metal candle stands. They're priced at 24, there's two of them. You could take off this center area and have like some really nice big candle stands. That's cool. That's a fun step stool. It'd be perfect for like moose to get up on the bed. <laughs> you would love it. I don't really 
see any, but typically I'll look for cutting boards because you can easily refinish cutting boards. So that's one thing I always check for at the thrift store. So I love looking at the carts that they set out with all of their new items. That's stuff they haven't put out yet. So usually I find some good stuff. So let's go check it out. <laughs> These are cool. Ooh, those are nice. It's like wood wooden spoons. It's like all wood items, which I love. Oh, is it a coat hanger? Yeah, it's like a coat hanger. Hat hanger? Salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, what is do, a gavel? Do you need like a salt? It's a salt. salt and pepper gavel. Salt and pepper gavel. I mean, I feel like, do we need this guys? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> really cool different wooden spoons though. I have this area where I have all of my cutting boards hung up. I feel like these would look really cool on there. Maybe we should get the salt and pepper. I kind of think it's hilarious. I feel like we should style these with them. How much are these? Six dollars for both? I don't know guys, what do you think? Salt and pepper or the wooden spoons? We're going salt and pepper, they're more unique. <laughs> Somebody must have donated a bunch of hand-carved items. We found this little bird for $12. So we're, we're gonna keep digging. I love getting jars here, you guys. You can find the best jars for a dollar or two. Is that a pig? Is that a carved pig? Where? Is oh, that? yeah, I think it it's is. Like a giant carved pig. Oh, that's fun. What? <laughs> we're finding the coolest, I know. craziest Look stuff. Look at this. Oh my Whoa. god. That's something out of I feel like I should put a picture of me and give it to you for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we got another cart of wooden items. Look at these wooden bowls. They have them at four dollars. I'm definitely getting one of these. There's like this wood cutting board that's like hand carved. So many cool items. Oh gosh. Ooh, look at that tray. That's a cool dark wood tray. Okay. They want 15 for this bowl, but I that's a pretty good deal, you guys. I wanted to show you guys how I put together this centerpiece with this bowl and items I picked up from Target. These trees and the wreaths are from Target. The white ornaments are from Dollar Tree. This table runner I actually made from a throw blanket in my Five Below Christmas video if you guys haven't watched that yet. If you guys love thrifting, DIYing, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. That's kind of like that DIY we did. I know. Where we put a mirror on. Yeah, it looks Like a very... canvas? That's the same thing. I saw this up here. I want to check it out. I love how big it is. Here's what I'm thinking. My girls have a piano bench that is not the best. And I almost think this would be like a cool alternative to a piano bench. How much is it? 24. 24? That's pretty good. I kind of feel like I should go for it. Make it work. <laughs> so I want to recover this. I don't know if it's like a bench or a stool kind of like a combination bench stool. So I'm gonna look and see if I can find a fun fabric. If not, I'll probably get a throw at Five Below. They have cool throws to like recover stuff. Okay, so I found this woven rug. I'm worried that it's a little too small. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it could work, maybe. But it does have some imperfections, so I'm gonna keep looking. All right, you guys, we just left the third store. It was kind of crazy. There were so many people in there. We had the great idea to go on like the discount day, but we weren't old enough for the discount. So I don't know. Let me show you what we picked up. So of course we had to get the salt and pepper shakers. I don't really know what these are, but I just think these are gonna be cute, styled in my house. This was the only furniture we bought today. We grabbed this stool. I don't have anything to recover it with yet, but I'm definitely going to recover it. This video is going to be a part two. So I'm gonna be DIYing all these items in an upcoming video.
this clock. I definitely think this is gonna be fun. And we got absolutely a ton of wood items today. I normally don't buy this much. I felt like this was really cute. This was $4. It just, I was really drawn to it. I feel like it would look great sitting out as kind of like an extra figurine. I also picked up several wooden bowls. I grabbed three of them. I couldn't decide on which ones to get, but I think we did awesome today. We really found a lot of great things. So if you want to see me DIY these items, that's going to be in our next video. I hope you guys had fun thrifting with me today. I know I had a ton of fun. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was that I found, and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.